So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to perform a supervised image classification using Sentinel 2A image in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to perform a supervised image classification using Sentinel 2A image we have to define our study area. So that is ROI that is our region of interest. So now let us define our study area. So define a study area let me uh, select this particular study area. So I'm selecting the study area as Chennai. So to define your study area, I'm going to use this particular, uh, that is add a marker, that is a place marker, click this. Now place your marker in your study area. So now I have placed a marker on my study area. So that is indicated. So that is indicated in this section, variable called geometry. So now let me rename this uh, geometry name to ROI, that is region of interest. So now let me rename as ROI. So now we can also choose your color. So color code also color code also indicated here. So you can choose your desired color. Let me uh, click OK. So now uh, so now let me load the Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine. So to load our Sentinel 2A image into Earth Engine, we have to define a code called we have to define. A variable called image equals to double e dot image collection copernicus s2 sr so this is a code which uh, is used to uh, import our sentinel image into earth engine so next we have to filter with a specific uh, time that is dot filter date 2020 january uh, january 1 to 2020 december 31st so to perform a cloud uh, cloud filter so we have to define so to get a satellite image with the least cloud contamination, we are using this uh, particular function that is dot filter double e dot filter dot lt cloud pixel percentage that is uh, lower than 20 percentage. So now we are filtering with our study region that is uh, our study region. So that is ROI region of interest. So dot median function. So here we are using a median function in order to acquire a single image from this uh, from this large time series, so that is from January to December, we will acquire a single uh, sentinel image out of this timeline. So for that, we are using a median function. So next, we have to set a visualization parameter for our sentinel 2A image. To set a visualization parameter for uh, for the image, we have to define a variable called visparam true, that is visualization parameter true color composite equals to bands. So the bands we will use band four, band three, and band two with the minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 2500. So now let me show you the details of Sentinel 2A bands. So this is a Sentinel 2A bands. So this is a Sentinel 2A bands. We have around uh, 12 different bands for the Sentinel 2A image. So with uh, band 2, band 3 and band 4 is of 10, uh, 10 meter resolution. So that is blue, green and red. And with, we have our, our band 8 is of uh, 10 meter resolution that is visible and near infrared band. So there is a total of around 12 bands in Sentinel 2A image with a four bands of 10 meter resolution. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine code. So now to define our visualization parameter, we defined a variable visparam true bands B4, B3, and B2. So here B4, B3 represents B4, B3, and B2 represents red, green, and blue. It is of 10 meter on resolution. So minimum is set to 0 and maximum set to 2500. Now uh, gamma is set around 1.1. And uh, to add this layer into Earth Engine, we have defined map.add layer. Image here rep represents our Sentinel 2A image. And uh, to uh, set up our visualization parameter, we defined this param true here. So it represents this particular variable. So output the layer name as Sentinel 2017. So now let me replace this. So output the layer name as Sentinel 2020. And to center this layer, we have to define map.center object ROI here represents our study region that is uh, indicated here. So this is our ROI study region and with a zoom level of 8. So now let us visualize our Sentinel 2A image. So go to the option called run script and click run script. So this is our Sentinel 2A image that has been uh, added into our Earth Engine. 
So now let us visualize the different features that is available in this image. So in this section, we can able to see there is a lake. This particular lake is called as Pulicate Lake, Pulicat Lake. And uh, let me uh, show you other features. There is uh, several water bodies have been located in this study region. So the image is in true color composite. So let us uh, with the 30 meter resolution. So that is a 10 meter resolution bounce. So we can see this is a, a canal system and there is a river and there is another river. So we can see several features have been available in this image. We can clearly visualize the different urban settlements, urban areas and also the vegetation and uh, even the beach is, uh, beach is also visible here. So now to perform a supervised image classification, we need to uh, provide a training data to our supervised classification model in order to perform the supervised classification image using Sentinel image. So for that, we have to uh, provide some training data to our. So to perform our supervised image classification, we have to provide training data to our supervised classification model. So now let us create a training data for that. So go to the option called uh, geometry imports. Now click this uh, option called new layer. Now go to this option called edit layer properties. Now I enter the name as water. So now I have entered the name as water. Now select, let me choose this option called feature collections and click this property and enter as class. Now enter the value as zero. So now click uh, also you can choose your color. Now let me uh, choose a color for our water bodies. So this is a color. Now click OK. So now let's start uh, provide a sample data. Let us provide a training data to our model. For that, uh, let me uh, click this water bodies. So let me select this reverse. So let me provide some uh, sample data for water bodies. So that is, it is a lake. So let me select in these areas too. So we have to provide a, a sample training sample for overall uh, water bodies that is present in our study region. So let me click this. So these are the lakes. So you can also confirm whether it is a lake or not. You can uh, just go to the option layers, turn this, turn this off and click the satellite mode. So now you can clearly able to visualize it is a polar lake and uh, so this is an Ambatur lake. Now let me turn this layer on. Let me take some samples of uh, this water bodies. So this is an Ad Adaya river. So it is meanders through our study region. Let me take some samples. So this is a canal route. So this is a canal. The name of this canal is Buckingham Canal. So now we have around 84 points for our water bodies. So now let us create another layer. Go to the option called layers. So now go to the option called edit layer properties. Now let me rename as a build up. So indicates our urban area. So let me rename as build up. So now let me select the import as as a feature collection. So use the properties, go to the properties and select enter class. Now enter the value as one. So now click OK. So it is now clearly indicated in the bold color. Now we are ready to take samples. Suppose you want to turn this off, you can click this. To so turn this on, you can click this. So now uh, let me take the samples of our urban area that is a build up 
reason. So let me here change the color for the build up. Go to this option edit layer properties and choose your color. So let me choose a red color for build up. Now click OK. So now let me take few more samples of build up areas. So now I have selected trained around, I have taken around 121 points for our build up areas. So now let me uh, select uh, add another area. So now let me add another training data that is uh, visitation. So I have created a new layer. Go to the edit layer properties. So let, uh, let me rename as visitation. So now let me import the type as feature collection and go to this click this property option. Now select class. There is enter class value. Enter as value 2. Now let me select the color. So let me choose this color. So I've selected a green color for vegetation. Now let me click OK. So now that is clearly indicated in the bold color. Now let me try, uh, take some training sample from vegetation in areas. So I'm taking a uh, training da data from all vegetation features in the study area. So vegetation areas are clearly indicated in green color. So now let me take the this particular, this is a national park. So now I have selected a vegetation sample training data for around 73 points. So now let me add another layer that is barren. Go to the option called edit layer properties. Mm -hmm. Now choose the enter the name as barren. So import as feature collection and select this property enter class. So enter the value as 3. So now choose your color. So for barren let me select the color as yellow. So now click OK. So now let me provide a sample training data for our barren features. So let me select a barren lamb. So now let me take the samples from this area. Training samples. So you can also confirm with our uh, base map. So this is our base map. So now let me select this areas. So now I have selected a barren uh, training samples for barren lands in our study region. So now let me add another layer. So go to the option called uh, geometry input. Now click a new layer. So now uh, go to the option called edit layer properties. Now enter the name as roads. And the import as feature collection and click the properties and uh, enter class and enter the value as enter the value as 4. Let me select a color. So now click OK. So now let us select uh, road features in our uh, study region.
So this is the road. Now let me take the samples of the road. So this is a road network. Let me select. Let me select this for this areas too. It is also road. So you can also verify with, with your uh, base map. So this is the road. So selected around 50, 56 points. So now we have uh, created around uh, five different features uh, from our study region. That is, we have created five different training samples for us from our study region to provide it to our supervised classification model. So now let me show you the different features. So that is indicated here. We have water, build up, vegetation, barren and road, uh, road training data. So now uh, next we're going to perform is we're going to uh, input this training data into our supervised classification model. So for that we need to create a training. Uh, that is we need to import this training data into our supervised classification model. So now before that, we have to merge each of these different elements together. That is, we have to merge all these water features together and all the build-up features together and also the road elements together. So in order to uh, import this data into our model. So now, uh, so before we uh, import our training data into our model, first we have to merge this uh, training data. So we have to merge the water, build-up, vegetation, barren and road together. So all the elements together for water and all that 121 we have to merge the element in build up. So for that we define uh, create a training data for that we define a variable called training. So this specific code will merge all our training data together that is it will merge water, build up, vegetation and barren land. So the part 2 of this uh, sentinel supervised class of uh, so the part 2 of this video will be given in the video description. So that is supervised classification of Sentinel 2A image that will be given in the description. So in this video we have uh, covered how to load a Sentinel 2A image and how to set a visualization parameter and how to create a training data in uh, Google Earth Engine. So in the next video we will cover how to import the training data into Earth Engine and how to perform a supervised image classification and how to perform an accuracy assessment and how to download the supervised classification image will be given in the part 2 of this video. Please uh, see in the link in the uh, description. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.